Hello everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Dhana Shri Piddahar. I'm a consultant neurologist. Uh, I've been working as a consultant neurologist since last seven years and currently I'm working in Medicover Hospital, Pune. So today we'll be talking about what are the common problems in neurology. So before going ahead, I would like to uh, give you an idea what are the neurological disorders. Basically, we divide into uh, two categories, disorders coming from the central nervous system and disorders coming from the peripheral nervous system. So what is central nervous system? Central nervous system is consists of brain and spinal cord and the peripheral nervous system consists of peripheral nerves of the hands and legs and muscles. Okay, so, uh, so we have different types of disorders coming from these different areas of uh, the nervous system. So uh, what are the commonest symptoms or the commonest problems patients come with, with us and uh, what we usually commonly deal with. So the commonest problems are, I would say the headache is the most common complaint what we see in uh, OPD basis, outpatient basis and headache can be of different types. We usually divide into primary and secondary. So primary headache is usually what we don't find any reason for that. And there are different types like migraine headache, tension type headache, cluster headache and there are secondary headache where the problem is originating. There is some secondary cause either a tumor or an infection or a swelling or a blockage in the blood vessel. So that can also cause a headache. Then the second problem, common problem is vertigo. Usually patients come with vertigo means uh, they will uh, come with episodes of uh, spinning sensation and it uh, commonly it is associated with a change in the position and uh, there can be a non-positional vertigos also so they, we have to categorize and identify because the treatment differs in different causes of vertigo then the third common problem i would say is facial palsy we also call it as a bell's palsy so the bell's palsy is usually uh, nothing but a weakness of a facial nerve and it is happening because of the preceding some viral or some bacterial infection and then that causes uh, inflammation of the facial nerve and weakness of one side of the face okay so these are some of the common um, OPD basis uh, problems and then there are some uh, uh, problems like uh, patient come in an emergency setting uh, either they will come with a loss of consciousness and the loss of consciousness can be because of uh, you know because of syncope means either the, there is a drop in the blood pressure sudden drop in the blood pressure or there can be uh, some underlying heart issue going on some arrhythmias or some valvular heart disease that can cause a loss of consciousness and or they can be it can be drug related also so uh, but there is another entity called as epilepsy or in common language we call them as fits that can present with uh, you know loss of consciousness so in that case we have to you know identify the patient and then we have to uh, give them a proper treatment uh, what what depending on what type of uh, epilepsy patient is having so it can they can have a focal epilepsy they can have a generalized epilepsy involving whole body and uh, it can it may or may not be associated with uh, loss of consciousness but usually these epilepsy uh, patients they come with recurring episodes of uh, these uh, events you know uh, so this is i would say a common problem and then there is a problem called as uh, stroke where patient will come with either weakness or numbness of one side of the limb either uh, upper limb or the leg or one side of the body and sometimes involving face also most commonly it involves face uh, in the form of uh, deviation of the face or facial asymmetry or the dysarthria you know so uh, it usually happens because of different reasons so there are two, two different types of strokes either ischemic stroke or a hemorrhagic stroke so ischemic stroke usually happen because of some blockage or a clot in the blood vessel and impairing the blood supply to the surrounding brain and the hemorrhagic stroke happens because of the burst in the blood vessel and the blood flows in the surrounding area and that is uh, that is called as a hemorrhagic stroke and then there are other degenerative causes like dementia, Parkinson disease and uh, peripheral nervous system also have degenerative causes like peripheral neuropathy. So in dementia patient will present with uh, memory problems, behavioral problems, it usually happens in the older age group 
sometimes very rarely in the younger patients also and then there are other problems like uh, parkinson's which is also a degenerative problem where patient becomes slow the speech the walking and everything becomes slow uh, then there is another problem called as uh, peripheral neuropathy it uh, again comes under neurodegenerative disorder so that can also present with uh, a pro- like a lo- ongoing symptoms like tingling numbness paresthesia burning sensation and then so this 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 can have different reasons this different etiologies we have to investigate accordingly so these are the i would say commonest problems uh, i would also like to add uh, problems like uh, coming from the spinal cord uh, compressive uh, uh, radiculopathy because of the spondylotic lesions so that can also give rise to a common problem which we see often